Hello, I'm Assessor Saya in the WUFT Newsroom. For Wednesday, June 11th, here's your news in 90. Fire crews are still monitoring the West Broward Brush Fire from Tuesday as it continues to burn. Nearly 20,000 acres had burned as of Monday night, though it didn't generate as much smoke today. The smoke forced the closure of a major highway Monday morning and reduced the air quality in Broward and Miami-Dade. Officials believe the fire was started by a lightning strike on Sunday. Representative Eric Cantor is expected to relinquish his leadership position as the number two House Republican after losing his Virginia primary in an upset. Cantor is expected to step aside as majority leader on July 31st. The decision sets up a leadership scramble among Republicans in the House, which is led by Speaker John Boehner of Ohio. The heavily favored Cantor lost Tuesday to college professor and economist Dave Bratt, who triumphed in the Richmond area district with Tea Party support. Toyota is recalling 2.27 million vehicles worldwide due to the problems with the airbag inflator. The company says the inflators contain improperly made propellant that can cause them not to work right or even catch fire in a crash. The recall impacts some 766,000 vehicles here in the U.S. Commuters in major European cities faced chaos today as taxi drivers mounted protests against the mobile app Uber and other car services. Drivers in London, Paris and other cities feel their livelihoods are threatened by services like Uber, which allows passengers to summon a ride with the touch of a button. Since launching in 2010, Uber has grown rapidly and now operates in 37 countries. That's your News 90. Thanks for watching.